Hello, everyone. Welcome back to 14 Days of Solitude. This is Karina and Vienna. Hi, everyone. Hello. We are here to teach you 14 coping strategies over 14 days so that you can build up your resiliency during times of crisis. So our coping strategy for today is called tapping. Another name for it is emotional freedom techniques or EFT. Some of you, a lot of you might be familiar with this and I know I haven't used this technique in a while um, just because I feel, I feel like when I used it, there was a lot of really heavy stuff I was working on and then, and then it really helped me for a while. So I haven't used it in a while, but it's really effective and really, really good. So Vienna is the one that was like, Karina, I think we should bring it in. And I said, sure, let's do it. <laughs> so uh, we're excited to share tapping with you or EFT. Yes. So what tapping is, um, it combines acupressure techniques um, along with modern psychology. So we're going to lead you through a series of different, you know, places that you can tap. For example, those are a couple. And while you're tapping those places, you're going to be saying um, certain affirmations, which can help you get through a, hard, a difficult time. Um, it can help you to release trauma. It can help with difficult emotions, with physical pain, um, amongst other things. Yeah. So I do recommend the day that we talked about leaning in. You can use tapping with leaning in. So if there's a really heavy emotion that's coming up for you and it feels like it's getting a little bit out of control, you just start tapping. You start tapping and you start acknowledging what you're feeling, uh, maybe the sensations, maybe your hands are shaking, maybe you're starting to, your heart's racing, you just ignore, say, my heart's racing, my hands are shaking, and you just keep tapping, keep tapping. So that is like my little um, secret weapon when something is too overwhelming. And I feel like for me, I'm not scared of my emotions anymore because I have this tool. So if you are scared of opening up the emotion box because you're scared of that you won't be able to stop it or it's you know some people it really feels like a waterfall and they're gonna it's gonna flood everything and wreak havoc just know that EFT tapping is going to be your go-to tool if that's you right. um, so the good thing about tapping is that it works with the unconscious part of the brain which is your amygdala which is back here it's your fear center so anytime you get you have a traumatic experience uh, especially for highly sensitive people who certain things can be a little bit more traumatizing because we are taking in a lot more of the world of the experience. Um, that gets stored in your amygdala, the part of your brain where it's unconscious so that when something comes up and then you react, that's, that's a trigger. And so we want to teach you this so that you can be, be aware of what your triggers are because that's trauma that's coming up. And you want to honor those triggers because they're teaching you what is still stored back there in your amygdala. Um, we want to help you rewire your brain. That's basically what we're doing here. Um, when you have anxiety, you're having the same thought over and over again, that every time you have that thought, it builds up more energy and you know, more brain power, if you will, for that thought. Mm -hmm. If you do EFT, it helps kind of pull it back if you will, and then you create a new thought and it helps create a new thought, a new neural pathway. Mm. Okay, so this is what we're doing today. We're helping create new, new neural pathways in the brain. Um, it'll help you be more creative and think outside the box, especially when you are in a situation where you don't have any solutions, okay? Right. All right, so that's all I wanted to do for introduction, but Yes, Vienna said this can be, we can do it for physical things, for emotional and for mental. So we're gonna give you examples of each of those today. All right, so let's start with physical. Sure. Um, so we're going to just use the example of a headache because I had a headache this morning, which is what helped me to think of this idea because EFT has helped my headaches go away faster. So, um, the very first statement that you want to start with um, is to focus on whatever it is you're struggling with. So today we're starting with a headache, let's say. So we start with, even though I have this headache, fill in the blank, I fully love, appreciate, and accept myself. 
that's the very first sentence that we start with. And while we start with that very first sentence, we're gonna be tapping our, it's called like our karate chop hand. And you can do either or, yes. You can do either hand, whatever feels comfortable for you. And you're just gonna, gonna tap it. So the very first thing, even though I have this headache, I fully love, appreciate, and accept myself. And then we go to the next step. So the next tapping point is like right on the inside, right at this little bone right before your eyebrow. So this, so continuing on, now we're going to say statements about what it is we're going through. Just statements. And this could be as if you're venting to a friend about what you're experiencing. Um, so for example, the next sentence you could say is, my head hurts. And then we move on to the next point, which is right outside your eyes. There's like a little bone here. This headache sucks. <laughs> Just venting about it. You wanna do like at least seven taps, maybe more. I feel exhausted from this headache. Then that's our third point. So it's right at this little bone underneath our eyes. Feel exhausted from this headache. Okay. And then our next one is like right underneath the nose, right on the upper lip. Looking at that light hurts my headache. Again, just talking about what you're going through. Okay, next one is now right below your lip. Again, you can just say this headache. That's all you this have to headache. say. Mm -hmm. This headache. Um, I feel drained. Oh, so the next one can be your collarbone. So some people go like this, like, like Karina's Yeah, you do two hands, you can do one hand. You get to do one hand. I just like to do one hand because it helps me to get to the whole thing. <sighs> I wish right I under the collarbone, there's a soft spot, yeah. Yes, just, I wish this headache would go away. And then we have, so for ladies, it's kind of like where your bra strap is. So sorry, my outfit doesn't match today. <laughs> so it's right like inside on your, on your side, underneath your armpit. Again, this headache. Cross from your nipple if you need something. <laughs> Wherever your nipple is, go under your armpit. Yes. There you go. And then very last is the top of the head. Just tap away. So My many head. points on the head. You literally anywhere you go, I go yeah. all over. And again, my head hurts. That's it. Very, very simple sentences just describing what you're experiencing. Okay. And then I like to take three deep breaths. So let's take three deep breaths. Mm -hmm. One. Now two. And now three. Okay. So, headache, right? And if you still have a headache, um, so also the thing about tapping is when we have that same thought process over and over again, right? Mm -hmm. It's like, maybe you have the thought of like, this headache, this headache, this headache, this headache, right? When you do the tapping, it'll help create openings for new, new thoughts. Mm -hmm. So maybe the new thought might come in of, oh, maybe I'm dehydrated. Let me go drink a glass of water. Mm -hmm. Or, oh, maybe I need some fresh air, right? Or, oh, maybe I need to like turn off all my technology. Um, you know, oh, maybe I just need to close my eyes with my hands on my head. So the tapping helps clear your mind so that you can bring up new thoughts around other ideas on like how you could potentially help your headache. Okay, so the tapping is working on your body to help uh, reduce stress because a lot of times even something like a headache, it's getting triggered because you're stressed, but it could also be other things. So you might get other ideas on what you need to do to help yourself. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's physical. We're going to do a mental. We're going to do something if where you get stuck in your head. So the one that we thought of was the fear of the unknown. Okay. There's a lot of fear, but like it can just make you go down in a spiral. 
So we have a few that we have here. And, you know, if you're doing this with us and we don't say something that is your thought, please add it along as you're doing this tapping. But um, so let's start with, again, the karate chop point. Mm -hmm. And even though I don't know what's going to happen, right? However, however it comes out for you, even though I fear the unknown, for me, it's even though I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, and I say, I deeply and completely love, forgive, and accept myself, right? Mm -hmm. So there's, there's different ways that you can say the, the uh, introduction statement. Um, so, and then can you say yours again? Sure. Um, so even though I fear the unknown, I fully love, appreciate, and accept myself. Okay, great. And let's just do it one more time. Okay, so chance. Even though I don't know what's going to happen, I deeply and completely love, forgive, and accept myself. Mm. Okay. All right. So let's go to our eyebrow point. And Vienna and I are just going to go back and forth and we're going to say statements for uh, every, every other point. Okay. So first one, um, I'm scared of losing my job. Okay, and, and we're just bringing up things that I know people are have been sharing with us. Right. Scared of losing my job. Next one. What if this never ends? I'm scared I won't be able to pay my bills. What if they don't give us relief money? How long is this going to last? I'm scared that I'm going to get sick. What if I can never spend time with my family again? Maybe it ends. Um, I'm scared of what will happen to my husband, my mom, my family members if they get sick. What if something comes on suddenly? Mm -hmm. I can't go through losing another person. Mm. What if things never go back to normal? What if this keeps, okay, like I said, starting over, right? <laughs> but yeah. um, you keep going. Keep going, keep going until all the thoughts that you are just constantly thinking, uh, you feel quiet. Like if you ask yourself, what else, what else, what else? So if I'm doing this with, a, with someone, I'll ask them, what else? And so ask yourself, what else? And if there's nothing and you feel clear, then you stop and you take your three deep breaths. So let's inhale one. Inhale two. And inhale three. Okay, and I also mm -hmm. like to bring in a, a few practices from EMDR. So mm -hmm. basically you're moving your eyes quickly back and forth. So first you're gonna look left and right quickly and say fear of the unknown. Fear of the unknown. And then up and down. I don't know what's gonna happen. And then circles to the right. I don't know what's gonna happen. Don't know what's gonna happen. And then to the left, I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm scared of the unknown. Okay, and then look up to the left, look down to the right, look up to the right, look down to the left, close your eyes, deep breath through your eyes. So we're going to go on to the third piece, which is emotional, but now we're going to build on it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So each one that we're doing, we're building on it. Mm -hmm. for, for the physical one, right? We just started with the tapping. Mental, we brought in the EMDR with the tapping at the end. And the emotional, I'm not sure if you do this, Vienna, but um, well, yeah, we're going to bring in the, the positive affirmation side. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going we're gonna to flip it after we go mm -hmm. through the emotion, the emotional one, right? So do you want to lead us through the emotional one? Sure. Uh, so 
one emotion we thought of um, that can be happening right now with, with everyone is sadness or grief, you know, loss, losing something. So we're just going to focus on the feeling of sadness. Um, so I'll go ahead and start. Even though I feel really sad, I completely love, accept. I'm sorry, I completely love and accept myself. Let's do that. You can say, even though I feel sadness, I deeply and completely love, forgive, and accept myself. I feel sad. Yeah, and if something is really strong for you and the emotion's coming up, you can go to the next point and repeat it again. Mm. I feel sad. Yes. Okay, and if you start, if it starts to build up, keep tapping. Let yourself cry. Let the emotion come up. The more you let the emotion come up, the more it's going to shift for you. Mm -hmm. Okay, all the people who are sick and dying. I'm thinking about all the people right now who are sick and there's not enough ventilators for them. Mm. Just feel so sad for them. That they're not getting what they need. Mm. I want to cry. Thinking about all the families right now who are worried about the people who are working in the emergency rooms and even at the grocery stores, all the essential workers who are on the front line, thinking about all their families and how worried they are mm -hmm. because of how you know high, high risk they are. So mm -hmm. all the sadness that I, I of course pick up on everyone, everyone's sadness, the empath that I am. <laughs> so mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and of course my family members for working mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. I miss my friends and family. Also, as you go, sometimes an another feeling might pop up. So maybe guilt, like I feel guilty for mm -hmm. feeling like sad that I can't go out and like see my friends right now. Like what's mm -hmm. wrong with me that like, I'm feeling like that and there are people putting their life on the line right now. People mm -hmm. are ill and dying. Mm -hmm. So I feel guilty. Um, something that comes up is I feel like I have no closure. I've talked to seniors from high school and college that their school year had to get cut short, for example. So I feel no closure. Uh, again, <laughs> this can come up as many times as you need, but for me, the thing that I keep coming back to is like, the grief, like I lost my father. And so in 2016, and, and so anything like that comes up like this, it brings up the grief again. It brings up old, mm -hmm. old stuff. And then the fear of what if I lose someone else? So this is a big one for me and I will repeat it over and over mm -hmm. because I know that I can't push it away. Mm -hmm. Right, deep breath. Count two. And three. Okay, just notice any shifts in your body. Maybe you are feeling a little bit hotter. Maybe you're feeling a little bit colder. Maybe you're feeling tingly. Maybe you're feeling lighter. Okay, but um, let's open our eyes. And something that I didn't introduce yet, but I, I forgot that I always do is before I start, I always give whatever the thing is that I'm doing a rating from one to 10, mm -hmm. zero to 10 even. So, um, you know, whether it's the headache, the fear of the unknown or the sadness or grief, rating it from one to 10 and as you go through it, seeing how it shifts for you. Sometimes it goes higher because you're bringing things up and that means you need to keep going. And then the goal is to let, just let those numbers go down, down, down until you feel neutral. You feel like a one or two or a three, anything below a five 
is a really good place to be. So once I feel like five, five or below, then I move into the, um, the affirmation side. So changing any of the negative thoughts to more, more effective, hopeful, positive ones. You don't have to lie to yourself. Like, oh, we're going to get back to this by Easter, right? <laughs> you don't have to lie to yourself. But um, we really should um, say the things that feel true for, for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. So again, we will tap starting with the, the eyebrow. So continuing with the sadness. So for me, instead of sadness, for me, it's about really feeling gratitude and appreciation. So I'm just tuning into that feeling in my heart, gratitude and appreciation for all the people I love right now and all the people who are just doing their very best. Yeah. I'm thankful for my home and that we have food to eat. I'm thankful and just so glad that we are healthy right now and I feel protected, I feel strong. I'm grateful for technology so that I can still communicate with my friends and family. Uh, what else? Right, you get stuck. What else? Okay. Um, I'm thankful for my therapist, so I have somebody to talk to in times like this. And I am just so grateful for these sunny days that we've been having here in New York, that spring is early, um, buds are coming out, and it's even though there's a lot of endings and death right now, there's we are also in a place of new beginning, and I truly believe that. Mm -hmm. I truly want to connect to this idea that every every age, every era needs an ending, and how do we want to create the next one? So. How do I want to create the next one? I'm planting that seed of that question. I'm thankful to be home with my partner and to be able to spend time together. Okay, and uh, I am thankful for just, oh goodness for the resiliency of our, our world. I mean, I will honor mother earth and just say that I know she's trying to reset herself right now. And so I'm just gonna honor her. And I, I do believe that we're gonna get through this. Not everyone will get through it physically, but I, I do believe we're gonna come together and it's gonna help unite us. And I believe that. Um. All right, so, a little bit. <laughs> deep breath. Now two. And inhale three. Okay, and one of the last additions we're gonna add is to hum a happy song. So a happy song I like to hum is happy birthday. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, I don't know if we were on, on cue, but it's okay. It's all about your own experience. <laughs> so so rate, rate yourself. How do you feel now? Okay. Um, as your check-in. Okay. So EFT, emotional freedom techniques. Um, you know, Vienna and I have been offering these 30 minute calls for people complimentary. Uh, you can use this time for whatever you want, whether it's a guided meditation, whether it's, a, you know, practice leaning into an emotion, having a place to vent. Um, let's, we can add on, you know, do you need brainstorming for your business, um, 
but today we're going to add on, you know, another idea is if you want to practice EFT in front of someone with someone who is trained in it, experienced with it, um, you know, let's do it. Let's get on a 30 minute call, do some EFT, see how you feel at the end. Yeah, sounds good. Awesome. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope you enjoyed uh, EFT tapping as a coping strategy. And we'll be back tomorrow with our last and final technique. Bye-bye. Mm. Bye, everyone.